Good morning, everyone. My name is Sam, and welcome to the first early morning show of 2021. Today we have Mr. Edlin here in his classroom. We are uh, out of the workshop today to have a little fun today. How are you doing, Mr. Edlin? Good. Good. So, uh, what made you come to Valley, and what you uh, made you become a science teacher? So, I have kind of a long story, but I'll try to keep it tight. Um, yeah, I went to school here, and I wanted to be an engineer, so I went to school for that, and and pursued that um, and then uh, the economy was really bad and I ended up bouncing around a couple different jobs just trying to find my, my fitting and it just never really quite stuck. I ended up in a, in a cool place that I was, I was having a lot of fun. We did high-end window shades for celebrities um, and that was a really cool job. I got paid really well and I thought that that was it um, but I was working a lot uh, out of the house all day long, coming home at like 8 p.m. because we would have to drive out to like Malibu and back. Um, and when my wife and I had kids, I wasn't spending any time at home. Mm -hmm. So mix things up a bit and kind of switch careers and, and switch into teaching. And when I was in college, I taught a supplemental physics class to help with some students that were taking a very difficult class. And that kind of uh, planted a seed for kind of what was to come. So it's kind of like, I think God has a plan for us. Mm -hmm. Do you have any uh, funny science or physics moments here about it? Um, I haven't created these times, but like my students have. <laughs> uh, we did, we were tracking motion and, and they just had to make a video and then record points. But I had kids out there playing with the archery mm -hmm. uh, arrows and just as I was telling them not to do it, they were like literally shooting at each other with the arrows. Um, I don't think they, they weren't like you know sharp razor tip, but it's kind of kind of dumb. Um, and you guys, yeah, you guys as students just make it enjoyable with having to intervene when things get a little crazy. And so uh, we know you're a really good, you like barbecue a lot. Do you have any uh, tips for novice uh, barbecuers? And I have a couple different varieties. I really like to cook with coal, so coal and I just recently got a um, like a pellet fed. Mm, yes. So you can it, it's like an oven. You just dial it in. That, those ones are, are neat for beginners. Uh, with coal, it's kind of neat because you can put it off to the side. Like you put your coals on one side, and you actually it's called indirect heating. You cook mm. on the other side, and you just manage your manage your heat. You cook with temperature. Like you want the inside of your grill be a certain temperature mm -hmm. and you check the temperature of the meat before you take it out that tells you when it's done well we would like to have a quick little tour around your room sure. so if you're okay with that let's go and then the physics guy. first thing for the tour I'm gonna to show you guys my trebuchet trebuchet is kind of like a fancy catapult and it uses a counterbalance to fall to give energy to the moving particle. We're gonna see how this works. See if we can get it to work. If you guys wanna do fun experiments all day long and learn that physics is for you, and I'm gonna have Gracie help me. I'm gonna show you guys how I electrocute knowledge into my students through electricity. Okay, put your hand on here. Now, I'll turn off the lights so you can see this better too. So as more electrons build up, the, the sparks will want to jump farther because now they're getting more aggressive. This is what I try to do in physics. I try to like shock my students and then like talk about the physics afterwards. Like, oh, by the way, here's what happened there. I think it's a lot of more fun to kind of play around and discover something and then like accidentally learn on the side, right? So in a way it's like really shock therapy of learning. <laughs> oh, you wanna know about the bear? This is my care bear, because I care about my students. And when they act up, you can just calmly let them know that they're acting up. And it, you don't leave marks, so it's good. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to the early morning show. Hope to see you next week. Uh, thank you, Mr. Edwin. Do you have any last words for the students? Yes. Don't believe your math teachers. They say that math is the only subject that counts. 
science is the only subject that matters, okay? Well, in physics, we'll wrap it all up and you'll know how the world works. Thank you. See you guys later.